Welcome back to the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. This is the K1 Bantamweight World Championship Tournament at Edion Arena Osaka. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. We're at the quarterfinals of this K1 Bantamweight uh, World Championship Tournament. Uh, it's from Japan, Toma Kuroda versus from Thailand, Yoshida Cho Hapayak. So coming in, uh, Kuroda, obviously, uh, he wants to kind of defend because he was the, he won the Japanese tournament uh, f uh, last year. Yeah, he's got a really good, um, unique fight style. He's yeah. very calm and just like spot on, almost like a sniper. I'd very, say very focused. Where's but, that? I mean, it's going to be a tough fight because yep. uh, his opponent's got 51 wins, 12 knockouts, and 10 defeats. Nice, yeah. That's like five times as many fights as Toma. <laughs> <laughs> and up to October, he would hit one 16 fights in a row and wow. was undefeated for three years. So we'll see what happens in this fight, round one of this K1 Bantamweight World Championship tournament. I really like um, Thomas' fighting style, though. Mm. Southpaw, he's always holds his hands up there and just waiting for that big shot to go. We'll probably see the classic Muay Thai style here. Lots of middle kicks on the arms. Dude, that hand is really strong. Wait, look at the speed of these fighters. Fast and, and focused. Whoa, a lot of tension here. Check it out. What the other opponent is doing. <laughs> See, he never really lets uh, lets go. If there's a chance, he'll go for it. Mm. He's sitting there. Nice and easy. Light stuff, and then he just goes Ooh. quick. By a nose wound like that. He wants to point back as well, too, doesn't it? Yeah, but I mean, a lot of the snake fighters, they always take it a little bit easier in the first round. Really? Okay, yeah. So, I mean, don't be fooled by this. Yeah, it, it, can, it is deceiving so far. Yeah. Whee! Okay, okay. okay. Well, challenging me from Hapayak. Could have not phased it at all. Man, he's kicking like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Was that straight to his face? Or was he able to like block that? Ah, uh, he blocked it. Yeah. But I mean, his hand is up there the whole time. Nice counter. That was smooth. Let's see, Hapayak, like, he doesn't like guard his face too much. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think he's going to get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, a lot of on that kick. Yeah, but you know, Toma, he, he, you know, he stands his ground. Yeah, he does amazing. it really well too. Amazing. Hey. Hey. Yeah, it's interesting to watch one. for sure. Yeah. I mean, Kuroda really doesn't break character at all. You know, he sticks to his sniper style of fighting. And then Hapayak is just, uh, you know, classic Muay Thai. Mm. Throwing them high kicks after high kicks. So in round two, what does like Muay Thai, what do Muay Thai fighters tend to do? Like now that they sussed out their opponents. I mean, it's, it's difficult to tell. Uh, they put a bit of more, um, what do you call it? Um, Intensity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, All right, right. More, a little bit more pressure sometimes. That was a great body shot. Yeah. Boom. But man, those Boom. high Boom. kicks or whatever you want to call them, middle kicks, they are strong. Yeah. See, that is exactly what Kuroda wants to do. He wants to connect with that straight right. I mean, straight left hand. Is it, yeah. Great punch. These guys are ripped. Second round. It's round two in uh, this uh, quarterfinal K1 Bantamweight tournament. Round two. Kurula versus Hapek. 
Do you see a slight noticing difference in, in intensity here? Yes. Now Hapayak is not stepping back like he did in the nope. first round. Nope. Yeah. He's putting the pressure back on Kurula. Oh, oh, I'm not sure it's working <laughs> in his favor though. Okay. Is he supposed to do uh, that? No, not. <laughs> Okay. Great counter kick there from from Tomo. Mm. I like that. Couple cut straight. I'm interested in what, what is that? The Thai um, training is saying to you. Uh, Yeah. It really changes the uh, the whole dynamics of the fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting slightly the feeling that Hapayag is not so confident the fighting itself though for some reason. Right, right, yeah. It, it's a bit frustrating for him? Is that what you're yeah, feeling? It yeah, it seems like he doesn't really like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you can, and you can also just hold up the instinct. But, okay. Break that up and continue the fight. Definitely more. Yeah, good counter there. Yeah. And Thomas back on putting pressure mm, on now. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Something> that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's quite new from Kuroda. Oh, yeah. hey. he did connect with the punch there. Wow. That almost worked. Mm. Wow, what a great finish here in the second round. Oh, oh. An interesting way. What happened there? Yeah. Well, well, my scorecard there completely even though. Mm. Like it's that's a 10-10 a round for, for the first two rounds here, so if the, nothing spectacular happens in the third round, then they might have to go to an extension. Yeah. Except for Thomas an unusual little move he did there, which I've never seen before. Yeah, no, it's it actually it doesn't really <laughs> suit his character, I think. I it was, it's quite that, interesting to watch that. That's what sort of uh, surprised me, yeah. I think it proves somehow cool. that he's also a bit frustrated and the fight's not going the way he ah, wants it to. Okay. So he's trying to get some kind of reaction out of his opponent. Yeah, um, I see. And it almost worked. <laughs> no, almost, yeah. Yeah, because he got the great punch in like that one. Mm. Yeah, even then. Uh, yeah, boom. that's the thing. Hapak might do something, but uh, th there's that move, <laughs> which is still un Second unexplainable. But uh, we'll see if there's any difference. Maybe both of them are feeling a little bit of frustration as they go into round three, seeing um, where they need to be to overcome their opponent. Here we go, round three. Mm. Great start. <laughs> I know, Hapayak. right? Uh, both, both know what something needs to be done. Exactly. And to the point. Again, that sneaky left. Oh. 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 Oops. 
Yeah, which is yeah, dangerous yeah. because Albert was fast enough to count the punch. Yeah. Yeah. Taking the risk. Whee! Oh, oh. Look at him. Felt that one up. Oops. Got out of that console by themselves. <laughs> Man, we're down to like less than half a round left now. Yeah. Still could have got the determination in his eyes. Yeah, just, so focusing. They Ooh. both have. They both will. It's just they found this kind of rhythm in the fight where ah. nothing crazy is going to yeah. happen unless someone gets a lucky punch. Yeah. Yeah, one more to go around three here. I think we're going to see an extension in this mm. He's really been trying to get him with that knee, but he's not connecting with it. Mm. <laughs> What's interesting to see is that Hubbard has been super aggressive in this round, but I mean, Toma has actually counted everything he's done to him. Everything, yeah. Okay, so that's round three. Uh, it's a hard call. Yeah. If I was a judge, I would give it a draw. But I think maybe Hapaya could have won the third round. Mm. So we're probably going to have at least one judge that says 30-29. Let's see what happens. What the judges say for this quarterfinal. Kruble versus Hapayak. So as you uh, predicted, uh, once again, uh, Nick, yeah. we've seen this extension round uh, in uh, this uh, quarterfinal, Kuroda and uh, Hapayak. Ooh. See, now it's going to be really interesting because they've got three minutes to convince three judges. Mm. If there is no knockdown, and after going three rounds with each other, I think it's going to be hard to actually see a knockout. Yeah. I mean, you never know, but I think if Hapaya keeps putting pressure on Toma the way he's done in round three, then he's going to win the fight. Right, right, right. So Toma really needs to be like the more aggressor, like the, the initiator. He has to really like make up for what he's lost here. Mm. And the thing is, uh, in situations like this, and, you know, people make mistakes. Yeah. He's hoping that both of them don't, but uh, that we see exciting fights in this extension round. Nice. Okay, straight into it. Aggressive, both of them. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because they know they have to impress those judges. Oh, he's doing the right thing. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what I'm talking about. Some people do make mistakes. You know? Yeah, yeah. There have been some really good chances here. Ooh. I'm go see their lines right now. Mm. I think they got a minute left in this fight. Mm. Who's winning so far? I'm gonna put my money on Toma <laughs> for this round. Yeah. Somehow, Habia kind of slowed down. And Thomas has been like, more aggressive and had more yeah. you know, clean shots. Yeah. It's almost as if Habia is sitting back and hoping for that knockout to come at one point. Mm. But it's not going to come, not the way we're yeah. fighting like this. It's strange because Habayak really started the fight off really hard and good in the, in the extension, but he slowed down a lot. Oh, oh, look at that. That could be the punch that actually gives him the fight. This is what the judges will remember right at the end of it. There was one clean shot. And it's over. That's a 10 9 top. And this is a must system round, so they have to give a decision here. It has to go either way. There can be no draw. Two guys to Kuro as well. And the judge. Yeah, the nice one step. One punch at the end there that got it for him. Mm. That's what the judges remember. That was a definite win there. On Tomo Kuro, we'll see him later on in this uh, K1 Bantamweight uh, tournament. So we got one more fight in this tournament after this. And then we'll be down to the semi-finals. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. we'll we'll see we'll be competing there later on. Yeah. There is. Thank you for watching. We'll see more of this later on. This is the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan K1 Bantamweight World Championship Tournament. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.